Most girls are taught to avoid risk and failure. They're taught to smile pretty, play it safe, get all A's. Boys, on the other hand, are taught to play rough, swing high, crawl to the top of the monkey bars, and then just jump off, headfirst. And by the time they're adults, and whether they're negotiating a raise or even asking someone out on a date, they're habituated to take risk after risk. They're rewarded for it. In the 1980s, psychologist Carol Dweck looked at how bright fifth graders handled an assignment that was too difficult for them. She found that bright girls were quick to give up. The higher the IQ, the more likely they were to give up. Bright boys, on the other hand, found the difficult material to be a challenge. They found it energizing. They were more likely to redouble their efforts. My friend Lev Bree, who's a professor at the University of Columbia and teaches Intro to Java, tells me about his office hours with computer science students. When the guys are struggling with an assignment, they'll come in and they'll say, "Professor, there's something wrong with my code." The girls will come in and say, "Professor, there's something wrong with me." What's going on? Well, at the fifth grade level, girls routinely outperform boys in every subject, including math and science. So it's not a question of ability. The difference is in how boys and girls approach a challenge. And it doesn't just end in fifth grade. An HP report found that men will apply for a job if they meet only 60% of the qualifications, but women, women will apply only if they meet 100% of the qualifications. In other words, we're raising our girls to be perfect, and we're raising our boys to be brave. The bravery deficit is why women are underrepresented in STEM. In C-suites, in boardrooms, in Congress, and pretty much everywhere you look, we have to socialize our girls to be comfortable with imperfection, and we gotta do it now. We have to teach them to be brave in schools and early in their careers, when it has the most potential to impact their lives and the lives of others. And we have to show them that they will be loved and accepted, not for being perfect. But for being courageous.